now we will discuss the second type of communication strategies that is compensatory strategies we have already discussed avoidance strategies and now we are going to discuss compensatory strategies these both types avoidance and compensatory they are a part of communication strategies compensation strategies are communication strategies used by learners to compensate for limitations in their language compensate for these strategies actually enable learners to fill in the gap or how to cope up for the missing information or missing knowledge that is there when they are using language for the purpose of communication we have seen that avoidance is one type of strategy where in terms of feeling problems with regard to syntactic phonological lexical or some complexity in a topic which actually provides a communicator or a person who is communicating second language to come up with different ways to solve the communication problems and keep on avoiding or use avoidance as a strategy now we have compensation strategy where if some information is missing or deficit of information is there when you are using a language for communication then you follow certain strategies which compensate for the deficit or the lack of information that is there so it's more like bridging the gap or filling in with the help of these strategies you sort of fill in those areas with certain techniques different kinds of learners have preferences for different kinds of learning strategies so again there are multiple ways multiple strategies through which different learners can benefit and can have a smooth communication or you can say communication with this which is an effective communication now broadly there are 11 compensation strategies that a learner can use to overcome the communication problem so let's discuss each one of them separately you have in front of you 11 strategies which come under compensatory strategies the number one is circumlocution that means describing or exemplifying the target object of action for example the thing you open bottles for corkscrew so exemplifying or you can say you use a phrase that moves around an idea with multiple words when maybe fewer words can be used to describe the idea so your phrase actually runs in a circle now this is one strategy where you feel if you do not have the information you use that as a compensatory strategy then you have use of all purpose words that is extending a general empty lexical item to contexts where specific words are lacking for example the overuse of thing stuff what do you call it thingy so you have basically use of all purpose words and they are basically empty lexical item to contexts then we have foreignizing now foreignizing is also a compensatory strategy which means using first language word by adjusting it to second language phonology with the second language pronunciation and or morphology which means adding to it a second language suffix so second language suffix is used then we have approximate approximation now approximation means using an alternative term 
which expresses the meaning of the target lexical item as closely as possible. So, using a term which actually conveys or meaning which is quite close or you can say as closely as possible to the target lexical item such as ship for sailboat. Then we have non-linguistic sing signals. Now, non-linguistic signals include mime, gesture, facial expressions or sound imitation. Then we have word coinage. That is creating a non-existing L2, second language word, based on a supposed rule. For example, to give you an example, in our context, Pakistani context, you would coin a word and you would say, Buke instead of books, buke or email. So that is a creating of a non existing L2 word. Then we have code switching. This is another strategy which is used. The reason that this is used is more like switching code, which basically means using a first language word with first language pronunciation or a third language word with third language pronunciation while speaking second language. Then we have prefabricated patterns that is using memorized phrases which are basically used for tourist survival where you have just can you help me? Please tell me the name of the road. Or they are just memorized stock phrases. So these, these are also fabricated patterns that are used as compensatory strategy. Then we have literal translation. That is translating literally a lexical item, idiom, compound word or structure from first language to second language. Then we have stalling or time gaining strategy. Now, this strategy means using fillers or hesitation devices to fill pauses and to gain time to think. For example, well, now, uh, let's see, uh, as a matter of fact, etc. We also have appeal for help as a compensatory strategy. That means asking for some assistance or aid from the interlocutor either directly such as what do you mean or indirectly rising intonation, pause, eye contact, puzzled expression. So these are the compensatory strategies that we have just explained. To conclude, compensatory strategies is a type of communication strategies which learner uses in order to compensate limitation in learner's language.